Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our video series on applications of stochastic dynamic programming in continuous time. In this video, we're going to work through some preliminaries before working through some applications of these problems. Let's go. So as previously stated, this is a video series where we're going to be working through a set of economic applications of stochastic dynamic programming in continuous time. We should note that in continuous time, the nature of uncertainty is encountered fundamentally in a different way. As such, we require some tools of stochastic calculus to deal with these problems. What I hope to do in this preliminary video is discuss the environment of uncertainty that we'll be working with and discuss how we can use these features of our, this environment to solve problems that we have here. Specifically, we'll discuss uncertainty in continuous time and properties of Brownian motion. Then we're going to go and briefly state Ito's lemma and stochastic differentials and what they look like. Then we're going to go and demonstrate the cookbook Bellman equation for what we're going to be using for objective problems in this environment. This will be a fairly quick introduction to provide a working knowledge of the material, but won't get into uh, special cases of stochastic optimal control or prove the results. This could be thought of as a kind of more of a show and tell type of presentation of this material. A set of notes I recommend for a more in-depth treatment of this stuff is a introduction to dynamic programming applied to economics by Paulo Brito. I think I said his name correctly. I've linked this in the description of the video, which provides a more in-depth treatment of the material than I do here. The uncertainty that we will be primarily discussing is with reference to state variables having some motion of their own naturally. We'll use Brownian motion or a Wiener process anonymously as a baseline to discuss this concept. The differential equations in a stochastic environment could take on a different structure compared to a deterministic one. Specifically, it could be seen as the following, that is d of x is equal to mu of xt dt plus sigma xt dz, where this mu term is the expected of, or average rate of change at time t in state xt. Sigma xt is the standard deviation in xt at time t, and dz is the increment of white noise or Wiener process or Brownian motion. For simplicity, we're going to write this as follows. That is just taking out X being parameterized by T just to go and save uh, our notation here and make our uh, equations here a little bit more compact. So for a working overview of Brownian motion on one slide, which is what I do here, is a little bit hard to not get technical. So we'll work through it slowly. So for a Wiener process or Brownian motion Z, any partition of a time interval, t0, t1, that goes on forever, that means you know, we have well-defined points in time, and random variables, uh, z, t1, and t minus uh, z, t0, right? that goes on uh, forever or maybe a finite amount of time, they are normally distributed, they're iid, and their variances are just the differences in time. And you know, there's another pro property here, right, which I'm not going to go and get too much in depth. It possesses this thing known as the continuous sample path property, which is a different notion of continuity for stochastic processes. Mathematically, the following multiplication table between each one of these differentials go and hold. That is, if we go and we multiply uh, one change in Brownian motion by another change in Brownian motion, you'll get a change in time. If you were to go and do that by multiplying a Brownian motion by a change in time or by uh, or by time by another time, right? You're going to go and get zeros here. Now, what's special about this is that we can also mathematically demonstrate that this also holds for our state variables that evolve over time. So the same table holds for our state X here. So that's something that is really the main takeaway that we go and we have. Now, what we wanna know is how do we go and take derivatives of functions that are parameterized by these processes that follow a Brownian motion. Now, we're gonna go and say a variable X follows an Edo process, right? This is just a general formulation of a Brownian motion, which is defined as the followings, where DZ is a Wiener process, A and B are functions of our state X and time. Variable X is said to have a drift of A and variance of B squared. We, if we have a function, right, that is a function of x and t, right, then the stochastic differential is defined as follows here, right, that is the derivative of our objective function f with respect to time plus the derivative of our function f with respect to x times our drift term a plus one half times 
the double derivative of f with respect to x times dx squared, and that's going to be all with the differential dt there, plus f of x here, right, times b of x dz, right? And in our context with Brownian motion, we just go and plug in our mu terms wherever we see an a and a sigma term wherever we see a b here. Now, after going and having all these facts, you know, we want to go and produce something usable uh, from this. And this is really where this all, you know, culminates together. Um, we're going to have the following objective problems that we're going to go and face. We're going to be maximizing some uh, either finite or infinite uh, horizon problem in continuous time subject to our state variables following a Brownian motion. Now, T here, as previously stated, could it be finite or infinite. The corresponding uh, Bellman equation is going to be defined as follows here, right? And this is something that we're going to use often uh, for going and addressing these types of problems. So that was the set of preliminaries needed for our series on stochastic dynamic programming. Um, this is the first time I'm going and doing this. Um, I just want to go and say thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I've been really lacking in terms of going and thanking everyone there. Specifically, I want to go and thank our $5 supporter, right? I recently got uh, Gregory Choi to go and really, really, really uh, help, you know, support the channel and, you know, help it grow. I really appreciate uh, this support. And if you want to go and support uh, me and, you know, believe in the mission of this channel, you can go and support me on Patreon, which is going to be in your top right corner. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.